All right, now you're looking at the ultimate DJI Osmo Mobile setup. So what I have here is a clamp with some cold shoe mounts, my Rode Video Micro, and that is going into my iPhone 7 Plus with its dongle and special cable so it works. Now this is very simple, so let's talk about how I did this. First, put the iPhone 7 Plus backwards because the dongle does have to come out. Next, grab your Rode Video Micro or any other shotgun microphone as long as it has a cold shoe mount. Now this V3 mount bracket is only about $8.95 and this little thing is going to come in handy. But nothing can be done without this thing and this costs a dollar. It's a quarter inch screw with no head and this makes the magic happen. Now what you do is you put that quarter inch screw into the side of your Osmo and then the bracket. And then what you do is you can use the other cold tree mounts because that quarter inch screw does poke out a little bit, but two mounts are better than none. So then what I did is I put my Rode Video Micro on the top mount because that was closest to my iPhone. And then what I did is I plugged that TRRS cable into the dongle of my iPhone 7 Plus. And you'll notice I'm using a special cable because a TRS won't work with a smartphone. You have to get the TRRS, which is 15 bucks. And this is pretty much the setup. It's incredibly easy and simple to do. So let's see how this sounds. And this is what I sound like when I use the onboard iPhone 7 Plus microphone. I'm not using the Rode Video Micro and the audio should be apparently different. You can hear it siren in the background actually. All right, well, anyway, this is what it sounds like when you don't use the Rode Video Micro, you just use the internal microphone on the iPhone 7 Plus. I'm going to now plug in the Rode Video Micro so you can have a listen to see how much it has changed when you use this microphone. And now I'm using the Rode Video Micro and I am standing the same amount of distance, but you should hear a good change in audio. Uh, this thing, again, is phantom powered, so it's picking up the power from my iPhone 7 Plus. And this is a pretty good setup if you wanted to vlog. I mean, I am probably a couple feet away and I think the audio should be substantially better using this microphone. So that's pretty much it. I'll leave all the links of the materials I use in the description below. And I hope this video answers your question. Maybe it'll be some relief for those of you who think you need to spend an arm and a leg to do something like this. You don't need that accessory from DJI. That thing's like 35 bucks. I paid probably half of that for everything I need to hear and it's super easy to do. I'm Ken from The Mono Reporter. If you like this video and you wanna see more like this, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, and of course you can subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon.